Hi there, my name is Brad Sobolowski. I'm a uh, paramedic and wilderness EMT from uh, Durango, Colorado. And we're here in Nonamus, North Karelia, where we uh, teach wilderness medical associates wilderness medical medicine for, uh, for outdoor guides every year. Um, we offer two classes up here. Uh, we've just got done with uh, teaching two wilderness advanced first aid classes. Um, and basically in a w advanced, wilderness advanced first aid, we teach people who might be assisting guides in the wilderness or who are looking to become uh, guides and, and get international training in wilderness medicine. And so it's a four day certification and we spend the time, uh, first of all, teaching you how the body works. Okay, so if everything's functioning right, how things work, you know, how your pulse rate is, how your skin looks, things like that. And then we spend the rest of the course on what happens when thing go, things go wrong. Now when you're in the city, if something goes wrong or somebody gets hurt, all you have to dial is dial 112. And you have an excellent medical system here in Finland. The ambulance will be here soon and take care of all the problems. If you're working in the outdoors, sometimes calling 112 will mean that help is still far away or maybe they're not going to be able to come. So it's important that a wilderness guide understands what happens when people get hurt in the woods. Uh, so if you come to our Wilderness Advanced First Aid class, you learn the basics of really the three things out there that, that will hurt you or kill you. Um, and basically that's shock, some sort of problem with the circulatory system, uh, brain failure, some sort of problems with the nervous system, and respiratory system problems. And we do a combination of lectures and then hands-on outside in this beautiful environment here in uh, Northern Karelia to, uh, to make sure that you're well practiced in the skills it takes to determine if something happens to you or your group, whether it's an emergency or not, whether the patient actually needs to go to the hospital, or whether they maybe don't have a medical problem at all, or whether you can fix it right here. And so uh, you do this through repetition, many outside uh, uh, hands-on practical skill sessions, um, and real life scenarios with makeup and moulage. Um, so after you learn the, the really important, the, the big medical problems out there, we spend the rest of the class um, with the things you're more likely to see. Broken bones, sprained ankles, uh, people who are feeling sick, um, you know, what happens if uh, you get stung by a bee and you have an allergic reaction, what kind of medications would be helpful, um, what kind of things would you want in your first aid kit, how do we communicate with, uh, with the ambulance service or 112 when we want to tell them what kind of problem we have so that they get the, uh, the right resources. And mainly what we teach you how to do is be resourceful and, uh, and to be able to think critically about medical problems and to work with a team. So after the Wilderness Advanced First Aid, if you want more training, we offer the Bridge Course. And the Bridge Course, if you take the Wilderness Advanced First Aid and the Bridge Course, you end up with a Wilderness First Responder uh, certification, which is the internationally recognized uh, level of certification that, that outdoor guides should have when, when leading clients uh, in wilderness environments. So uh, it's, it's the most accepted certification in the world. Uh, and so we really teach you uh, everything you're going to need to know to be a good outdoor leader when it comes to medicine in the outdoors. First of all, how to prevent accidents from happening, to realize that if somebody has asthma, what are the risks that go with, it, with that illness. Um, to build a good medical kit so that you're prepared to be in the backcountry. And then, if something does happen, again, to, to provide the leadership necessary to make sure that your team and your clients react to the, uh, the problem um, in the way that they should, in an organized fashion. Do it so that you can do a good medical assessment, figure out anything that might be wrong with your patient, and then uh, come up with the right plan. And so in those four days, we really stress the, the leadership and we, we make sure that you're going to be a, a good leader. So if you're interested, uh, check the Outward Bound Finland website or Cal Outward Bound Finland. That's uh, WMA Medi Wilderness Medical Associates, Wilderness Medical Courses in, uh, in Finland.